كتير عم دكتور علام مصباح بروفيسور اوف اوبستريكس اند جينيكولوجي فاكولتي اوف فينس مانسورا يونيفرستي توداي وي هاف ا ديفرنت سكال ويتش از يو تراي اند ساوند اوكي يو تراي اند ساوند وات از ذا انسترومنت نيدد تو دو يو تراي اند ساوند يو تراي اند ساوند جريد ان سنتيمتر Single toes to bolsalam or tenaculum. Bring the forceps to hold the uterine sound while getting it out. Piece of dressing for cleaning of the portion before I do insertion with antiseptic solution. Let us start uterine sounding. Uterine sounding indications to measure the length of the uterine cavity and to know the position of the uterus is it Antiverted flexed uterus, as in this picture, this is AVF uterus, or retroverted flexed uterus, as in the lower one. Okay, so this is AVF and this is RVF. So to know the position of the uterus and to measure the length of the uterus. Let us put it, do it in the model. Okay, after cleaning the portion, after applying the single tooth the tenaculum to the anterior lap to hold it try gently to insert the sound like that first resistance will be the internal loss second resistance will be the fundus of the uterus gently you try to insert it be careful not to perforate the uterus okay so this is how to insert after i reach it the second resistance which is the fundus, as you, sh as you see here, put the ring forceps at the external os like that. Okay, and the close it. Then withdraw the sound gently. Then measure the length. Yes, seven centimeter. It's okay. This is seven centimeter. Then make a scale or indication for the trine sound is to know AVF uterus from RVF uterus, the position of the uterus. And this is very important really before many procedures like ID insertion, for example. You, you, you wanna know the direction of the uterus and the length of the uterus before ID insertion. So you are in need for the trine sounding. Okay, in AVF uterus, the direction would be like that, anteriorly. The fundus is directed anteriorly toward the bladder. This is the bladder. And this is the sigmoid and the rectum. The fundus directed anterior, the cervix directed posterior. While in retroverted flexed uterus, the fundus is directed posterior towards the sacrum, while the cervix is directed anteriorly. Okay? When you insert the uterine sound like that in this direction, this is an AVF uterus. I can diagnose it. And AVF uterus is uh, constituting 85% of women, while RVF uterus constituting 15% of women. Uh, while if I'm going to insert the trans sound in RVF uterus, I should go in this direction. If I went in a wrong direction like that and push forcefully, I may perforate the anterior wall of the uterus. So be careful uh, while you are doing the trans sounding to go with the direction of the uterus. So. The upper figure is AVF, the lower figure is RVF uterus. So, now we finished our scale today. I hope it was clear enough. Have a look in nearby. This is the AVF uterus, and this is the RVF uterus, and the sound should be directed like that. Okay, have a nice day everybody.